I'm Sir Tapped Out and welcome back to Let's Play Slime Rancher. Since we're at the main menu, let's take a look at the options here, just real quick. It's got a decent set of graphics options. I uh, I usually go just a teeny bit above default on my pretty old GPU. I think I'm gonna get a uh, GTX 1070 later this year, unless AMD beats it for a better price or something. Um, that's right, Parker. Um, it's got gamepad remapping, I think. I haven't actually tried to remap it. Slot. Huh. But, uh, yeah, it's got a pretty good set of options, especially for an early access game. Camera Bob is off by default. Camera Bob is my least favorite Bob. So, can I just continue? Oh, no, it just keeps that as a... your high score, I guess. So, yeah, um... I'm not sure how brag worthy that one is, but uh, let's just go ahead and load my actual ranch here. Perky. Interesting. Up all night. Did I get that one already? What happened to my chivos? Okay, that's weird. It this is an early access. I guess it's just gonna roll through all of my achievements again? That's... Hmm. I might pause the game if that's the case. Um, strange. But yeah, so here I have... Uh, I mostly just filled this place with water. Uh, the puddle slimes. They're really low maintenance. Um, they're pretty, but... All in all, you can get a higher return rate out of other slimes. I have a little chicken coop just for the sake of having a chicken coop. I um, This is where that slime was. The, this area isn't very interesting. It just loops back around to the area we saw before. Um, I'll go ahead and take a peek. Oh, for Pete's sake, it's going to give me all my achievements again. Yeah. I'll talk that up to early access weirdness, but um, over here I have started a um, a little project where I'm going to just collect one of every type of slime, just for why not. I think I'll store it somewhere that's a little easier to uh, keep safe. This is technically risky, but... Um, Mixing slimes is actually perfectly safe as long as you don't feed them and as long as they don't produce plorts or get plorts contacting them. There is a slight risk that since this is in my main farm, some food will bump into these dudes or one of them will get out maybe. But um, I'm going to move them into the back row back here because there's more space and I don't really mess around in there. Um, I think I've got maybe half of the types of slime or so. Maybe a bit more than half. As you can see, I have way more um, energy for my jetpack here, too. Uh, like I mentioned before, growing food is kind of hard if you got a ton of different things. So I've just been growing food for... Um, this is the honey one's favorite food. The mint mango. So I just feed these dudes lots of these. Actually, I think yeah, I've got auto feeders in this version, or in this save file. And they're actually... holy crap, I think they might be... yeah, they're... they're... they're totally full. Well, look at all the crap in there, holy... <laughs> That's crazy. This this is obviously my main money pit. I, um... These are earlier... This is my f first big earner uh, pen that I probably need to just erase these guys for uh, better earning units at some point. These are honey and uh, rad slimes, so they have very, very good payouts. These guys are honey cat slimes. They're okay. Um, I might replace them too. I, I didn't honestly put tons of thought, just honey are very useful slimes, so I ended up with lots of those. The phosphor slimes I just like. And it makes sense to keep them in this place, so I ended up with lots of phosphorus slimes in here. Um, to get a trophy, I was trying to—I um, was trying to get the diversify one and. 
put a bunch of different um, large slimes in here. It turns out you need to do that in the main map, which is what, uh, which is why I have that pen with a bunch of different slimes in the same pen. Yeah, this one's very. Oh, is this one full too? Why isn't it collecting? But, um, I rather like the phosphor ones, even if they don't have the highest payout, so I, I ended up getting a lot of those. These ones look like bees. So, uh... And one thing, it's a little annoying to have to run back and forth to, um, collect all the little plorts and then bring them back to the cellar thinger. So, the different parts of the map are kind of a bit too spread out in my opinion. Like, it'd be nice if there was like a shipping bin in each one of the three areas of the thing. And if there was maybe just one silo that doesn't waste one of your plots, I might actually use the silo. As is, it, it feels kind of like a waste. But yeah, that's pretty much my base. So... Take a look at what the trade is here. Eh. These don't feel very worth it, honestly. But, um... Let's go ahead and... I think I have all of the upgrades. Oh. Uh, health modules aren't really very useful. As you can see, your house never really changes. Uh, it'd be nice to have some more customization. And I did notice there's about, like, five different areas that are marked off as under construction. So it seems like the world might grow a pretty significant amount. According to the achievements, there's only one more area that is coming, but um, I don't know, there's a lot of under construction signs, so I'm, I'm not exactly sure what all is planned to be added, but uh, it seems like it should be decently significant. So continuing along this way, we'll see the area that we uh, missed. Sorry if I'm a bit nasally or whatever. I, uh, I think it's just allergies. I, I always have the worst allergies. And Parker's not helping. No, you're not. He's just sitting here on my keyboard. And just He doesn't care. Do you care, Parker? Do you? He doesn't. See, all the way over here, you need another slime key to open up this guy. And I... I'm not sure what happens if you open up the other two slime keys before this one. Oh, for Pete's sake. It seriously did erase all of my achievements. That's... silly. Especially since I had like 90% of them, but whatever. Early access games and all that. So yeah, here you can find- you, you get access to explosive slimes. Very few puddle slimes. The map that we are, already saw. Here's one of those under construction signs. So it's gonna be something beyond that eventually. Um, explosive plorts. So as you can see, these guys. Well, just from exploding, like damage-wise, they're not that dangerous. But as you can see, they knock stuff everywhere, and so they'll knock their own plorts out of their own pen, which makes them hard to collect, and more importantly. It actually makes it a lot easier to end up with a tar, which is one of those gray slash rainbow evil ones. So, they're very much not good. So here we can find our little honey slimes. And actually... Oh! So this is what that water gun will do. It does not kill it instantly, but... A good bunch of hits will clear it out. Oh yeah, and here there's different types of chickens. Um, you can access a couple, um, one of the better types of chickens in this region. Also, uh, these things let you suck up water. I believe water is only useful for knocking away slimes, which is generally useless, or for killing tar. Not sure why I'm bringing this little friend with me. Very dangerous little friend. And this area ha has. Yep, there he is. Has the potential for more water slimes. I forget if I mentioned, but water slimes do not combine with other slimes at all. So they're very. simple. It's a lot more water slimes than I usually see. 
Honestly, I don't need as many ponds as I do, so I probably shouldn't even bother collecting all of these. That slightly battly music means there's a tar somewhere. And they spawn in this area of the map very frequently, because there's so many different colors. Oh crap, that is not water, that is water slime. Come back. Where's the third one? Did it die? Oh, there he is. Come here. I'm not even sure why I need you, but uh, I do. See, those guys, these guys are just jerks. I don't even know what to do with them, because I want one of each slime in my ranch, but they're such a pain. And so I guess I'll have to put all of the explosion ones in their own. Yeah, here's another under construction thing. And some dead ends have a quick warp back, but you can't teleport. Like, it's not a two-way teleport. And then certain big slimes, you know, the big slimes that we that we fed to get that key. Um, oh wait, there's already four in here. They'll stop producing if you put more than four in a pond, which is kind of annoying. Honestly, I might just cut myself down to two ponds and just store a bunch in one pond just for show's sake. So this, these teleporters are two-way and this is unlocked uh, by another one of those big slimes. You just feed it and you get a little shortcut. Which actually I believe here. Yeah, here! Ah, oh, come on, energy. Oh, for Pete's sake. Get a lot of tars today. Here is that shortcut I mentioned earlier that wastes a whole key. I guess it gives you... I don't know, is there anything interesting down here? No, these are hostile too. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything interesting even down here. Hmm. Oh, there's a new... Oh! Now I feel slightly dumb. I had no idea this dude was down here. I bet he just gives you an extra key? Or... Huh. I thought it was done with the game. Well, I'll have to feed him later. That one requires fruits. Interesting. So maybe I'm not completely done, but I'm pretty close to being done, if not completely. Um, and, well, I guess that's the tour of my main save file. Um, very fun game. It, do it does currently have a fairly definite ending point, though. Um, I would love to see it get a bit more open, and more content is always good. I did play it, like, completely addicted for like four hours, though I ran through most of the content, it seems, in that time. Um, I, I definitely want to see what more what new stuff they add, though. It's, it's a really good game. Um, now, I wonder if I have a fruit stored somewhere. It's just so easy to burn out of fruit. Um, I have pretty much more money than I should reasonably need, though. Um, I do feel a little limited by those plot, the amount of plots I have here, like I said before. Oh! Why do I have all these heartbeats? I don't really have enough fruit on hand, so I'll have to plant some more fruit and uh, get that stupid angel slime and see if there's anything extra. Pfft. Yeah, that's just the getting achievements that I already have. <laughs> well, this is Slime Man Rancher, and I really, really like it. Um, I, I'm not sure what the current price is. It's uh. It's obviously not finished, but uh, I'm definitely looking forward to see what new stuff they add, and visually, I think it looks quite good. Oh, here's some fruits. Well, I'm just gonna go unlock that thing, and if there's anything super amazo behind it, I guess I could show you guys. But if it's just something boring, like uh, another teleport, maybe I won't bother. Get out of here. Ah, oh, come on. This is that issue I mentioned before, where you, you suck up the wrong item, and since you only got four item slots. 
They get kind of messed up. Do you have any final words, Parky? He's gonna drool on my hand. He's just gonna drool on my hand. Alright, the moment of truth. Will it all be worth it? Probably not. Also, I didn't have any cute berries, which is this thing's favorite fruit, so... I'll have to waste some extra. I don't even know if I have enough. I hope I do. I've got like 80. Oh, come on, man. These things feel a little bit excessive, to be quite honest. Sigh. The moment of truth, part two. Oh, for Pete's sake. One. One. Just one. Okay, so it is a, it is a key, so you wouldn't be stuck like I thought you might be. I figured they wouldn't be that dumb to let you get stuck. But does this mean there actually is another door? I have not seen a third door, or a fourth door, to open. I guess I'll have to investigate. Um, if I find if I find the door before I upload this video, I will add as an addendum. If I do not immediately pan to me opening the door, uh, assume I did not find it, and if I miss something, feel free to let me know. <laughs>